Uh, when it comes to working with me, you know, again, like I said, I've got ADD and all this other stuff, and, you know, and that certainly has its handicaps. I mean, there are, um, you know, there are, draw there, are, there are minuses, but there's also pluses, because, like I said, it's my ADD. I guarantee you it's because my mind scrambled like this. It's the reason I'm so creative. Although, i got to tell you, it would be nice to have, like, Ritalin or something to be able to turn it off every now and then, but I wouldn't want it to go away completely. It really is why I'm such a prolific inventor. It really is. Um, it's it's where it all stems from. So, there's, it's got its good side and its bad side. Its bad side is there are things that I can't do that other people can, and other things that I'm just real sensitive over that other people aren't. Like, for example... Um, <clears throat> You know, answering the phone. I mean, I have this big, big phobia of answering the phone. I mean, I normally I have my ringer off, and I don't monitor my answering machine. Um, because, like I said, particularly back from those creditor days, those five years, oh my God, yeah, I got terrified of answering the phone. And even hearing the messages or whatever, I just got terrified, because almost every time I'd get a call, it'd be damn creditors. And, you know, and again, you know, those days, during those days, I mean, I was only about 50% productive because I spent half my time worrying about creditors, which there was nothing I could do about it, <coughs> except what I was trying to work on, but I was only working 50% of the time, so that didn't help, um, because I was worrying about creditors the rest of the time. But, again, that's thanks to my obsession, you know, my OCD, you know, when I get to worrying about something, I can't stop for quite a while, because I've become obsessed with it. So, um, you know, again, though, that, that's just one thing with me. It's, um, and I also found out, too, that actually, even, you know, before the creditor days, it was actually more efficient, even though this wouldn't, you know, I, I used to answer the phone and stuff before then, but the fact of the matter is it was still um, more efficient when somebody, like a, my customer called or something like that, for, you know, if he called and left me a little message about what it was that he wanted to discuss, I found that it was way more efficient from his standpoint in time if I actually got that message and get 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 prepared, you know, mentally and you know get the computer files up I needed to to work with and everything, get all the information in front of me before I called him because then I'd waste less of his time. Um, you know, it wouldn't save me any time, but I I would be much better prepared because of my ADD. Again, I'd be working on something else and then he would call me up. And, uh, again, my ADD and OCD, and I'm so focused uh, trying to <laughs> overcome that ADD that um, it takes me a while to change gears. So, you know, uh, again, I'd be kind of, you know, kind of scatterbrained, you know, when uh, I would just answer the phone out of the blue. And so it would waste more of his time, technically, me trying to get on the same page and everything. It was just more efficient. You know, I noticed when he left me messages, and then I called him back. But that usually just happened by accident. I mean, again, I had a big complex, and I was usually uh, somewhere else when the phone would ring. But I just noticed that when it's happened by accident. Sometimes I'd answer the phone, sometimes I wouldn't. But he got kind of used to it. I think he didn't like it at first, but he got used to it because it really was more efficient. Because I'd be, I'd, 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 you know, give better service to him that way. Uh, it wastes less of his time by far, you know, and I could actually be you know, much sharper that way, because my, my mind's already focused on it by the time I called him back. So, which I'd usually do pretty promptly. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that, um, you know, pretty promptly is that it wouldn't be the next day or anything. It'd usually be within an hour or so of his call a lot of times when I discover it. Um, just depends on when I discover his message, but, and got prepared, you know, it could take me 15, 20 minutes or more to get kind of prepared. But uh, sometimes, sometimes less. But, you know, the, the point is, though, is there are some little perks, you know, or quirks. And, you know, that's just uh, uh, a couple of examples that are a little strange with me. But, like I said, and I know you might find that annoying. Um, and, and I don't know. I mean, again, I'll do my best to try to answer the phone and everything. But, again, you're probably going to um, be disappointed, especially with a situation like this. You know, there's a lot. I've got a lot on the line here. So that makes me even more nervous when I get a call out of the blue and I'm not prepared for it, because, you know, again, with the ADD, that, that nervousness distracts me, okay, and it makes it more, um, you know, which makes me more nervous that I'm going to mess up, which distracts me even more, which, you know, again, destroys my concentration. When something comes out of the blue, I'm just not at all prepared for it psychologically, and I can't remain in a state of preparedness 100% of the time waiting for somebody's phone call. So I just can't do that. It, it wears me out. 
so uh, if that happens, by the time you do call, I'll be so exhausted, I won't even, you know, uh, I'll be just the opposite. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be able to think because I'd be too exhausted. So, because in order to remain in a state of preparedness, i got to be focused on that phone call 100% of the time, and it's just not possible. So, it, it just... It isn't. I mean, but you know, there are some little quirks to working with. And that's why it's usually better for you know email or or something like that. Or if you want to talk to me on the phone, it's fine. But you know, often you know leave a message um, because that it'll work way better that way um, from my standpoint. And from your standpoint, it doesn't tie you up as much because you know when you leave somebody a message, I mean, you know, it could be several hours before somebody calls you back, so you're not sitting around waiting for my call per se. Um, so it does work a little better that way from your standpoint because you can go work on something else and you know um, but anyway 